Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I am back and I am here with a lot of products to talk about. So let's get started. The first product that I want to start with is probably the one that I am most excited about. Oh, that's gonna, my lights are gonna be in the way, sorry. This is from a brand called Pretty Vulgar. It's a brand new brand, brand new brand on Sephora. And I hadn't really heard anything about it. And obviously I went for the highlighter. This is the Shimmering Swan Glimmers of BS. Did I read that right? Yes, it is the Shimmering Swan Highlighter in number 41, Glimmers of BS. No wonder I like this so much. So it's like you're, I mean, it doesn't look like anything special, but then let me give you a swatch of it here. It's just like the most, uh, it's just like the most beautiful, icy sort of champagne color and it's just so flattering. There's something about this formula that just makes me really, really, really happy because I have it on my face right now and it just, it just looks like skin. Like it's beaming and it's amazing and it's bright, but there's no like, let me look in the mirror. There's just no texture to it. You know, it's very like soft and just creamy and just soaks right into your skin and looks like your face. So I am obsessed with this. This actually, I think was like $32. Let me get the price on this for you because that would probably be a good thing to know. Yep, the price on this is $32 and you can get it on sephora.com. We might as well stick with the face trend because we have a whole lot of face products here. So the next product is the Kylie Cosmetics Press Powder Blush in the shade Barely Legal. I am so in love with this blush right here. Um, you can get this on kyliecosmetics.com only. It's only $20. Can we just start with that? Like, how affordable is that? That's amazing. And the thing that I love the most about this is not only the color, but the actual formula. And I know a ton of people did not like this formula, which is really, I mean, everyone has their preferences, so I'm not gonna say it's weird, but I loved it. Um, I only have two of them. I have this one and the shade Virginity, which is a darker pink, but this is the one that just kind of stole my heart. And you can see how much this is loved. I had the little water drops on there and they're gone because I use this every single day. Um, I've never even been much of a blush girl, but this has really stuck with me. I can't put it down. I have it on today and you can see that the way this formula is, is it's just very, it's very creamy and it's very sheer. So I'm very, I, I, I'm one of those people that likes to kind of swirl my brush in there and put, you know, swirl it on my face instead of having to go beep. If a, if a blush is too pigmented, then you have to very carefully put it on your face. That drives me crazy. So a lot of people were saying they weren't going to pick up the Chrissy Teigen palette because it was too similar to the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I do have both. So I'm going to show you really quickly. Now they have this kind of mirrored packaging, so I'm sorry if you're getting blinded, but you can see here, the similarity is in that pink blush. Everything else is very different. I look, I look like the guy from Home Improvement, that TV show, what was his name? Ed, Al, what was his name? You remember the guy that would always like never show his nose and he would always like peek over the fence? Okay, totally pulling a 90s kid thing. So if you didn't grow up in the 90s, you probably don't remember that show. Um, anyway, you have three blush shades in this one and then one blush shade, blah, one blush shade and one bronzer in this one. You can use this one as a bronzer, but it did not work for me as a bronzer. It's definitely more of a blush. So I'm just letting y'all know, if you were on the fence about this, the highlighters are completely different colors from each other. The only thing that's similar is the blush shade. Other than that, I highly, highly recommend this bad boy. It is stunning, it is beautiful. And a lot of people were like, um, oh, you know, the colors are too dark for me or whatever, but if I can wear this, pretty much anybody can. <laughs> I mean, I'm considered very fair and I wear everything on this. I am especially a fan of the two highlighters. I'll usually mix the two. I use this bronzer almost every day now and I will sometimes dabble in the blush. Blush is not my favorite, but it is very beautiful. I liked this more for these three shades here, but I really do like the blush too. It's, uh, it's a nice color. 
Moving on, oh, and that was limit. this is limited edition. So if you guys are on the fence and you, if you're on the fence, just get it because I do think you're gonna like it. And the next product is from Dior. This is the, the product I was actually gonna do an entire video on and changed my mind, but these are incredible. So basically these are lip stains and they are called Lip Tattoo Longwear Colored Tint by Dior. Um, he came out with four shades, vor, vor, four very flattering shades to basically every female. He has like a darker berry color, these two, and then um, like a dark cherry color. So I went ahead and swatched these on the back of my hand. So you can see that there are actual lip stains. Um, they're going to stain your lips. They are going to last a very long time. Actually, throughout the entire day, they will last on your lips as long as you don't actually remove them. <sighs> I know that lip stains kind of fell off the, the radar for the past couple of years because everyone went crazy over matte liquid lips and, and then gloss came back for a little while and then these metallic lips came back. But I'm one of those people that I, in the summer especially, love a product that I can just throw on my lips. I don't even have to look in the mirror. I can just throw it on and just go out the door and not worry about it all day. So the two shades I got is 491, which is this one here, which is called Natural Rosewood. And then this color here, which is Natural Pink in 881. And the other two colors is like a berry color and then a cherry color. So they kind of, went with the colors that are going to actually look like your lips maybe kind of created that color on their own. Um, so very flattering, very easy colors to wear. But the thing that struck me the most about this and the reason this is even in this video is I have tried basically every lip product there is and I never had a good experience with lip stains ever. They usually tasted really gross and just didn't do anything for me. I mean, sometimes they're too bright. Sometimes there's barely any pigment, but the thing that always got me the most was the taste and the smell of them. I, I always felt like they were just too chemical smelling for me and it would really bother me. So I was never a lip stain girl. And then I tried these. These are such a beautiful formula, you guys. It's, it, okay. It actually tastes like, I have one right here. It tastes like the Marc Jacobs lip glosses and it smells just like that. It's got that like minty, uh, just really yummy fragrance to it. And so when you taste it, that's all you taste. It's like a sugary mint, it's like, a, it's like gum. And it doesn't leave a fragrance throughout the day. And I love that. It kind of just gradually fades away and it's just, they're just wonderful. So definitely go try these. They are $30 a piece on Sephora.com. That's how I got mine. So yeah, they're a little pricey, but they are a really incredible lip product, especially for the season that we're in right now. All right, next product is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick. I wanted to talk about this one in particular because of the color. It's it's one of their new releases. So it was up in the like natural love with the highlight, the natural love palette and the highlighters that just released. So it is a new um, color that they've come out with and it is in the shade, I should probably tell you what it's called. It's in the shade, holy chic, exclamation point. I'll just give you a little, so you can see, I did not just make that up. Yes, it is holy chic, which is basically what I said when I put it on. Um, not to mention, I've never tried the formula of these. I've never tried any of these. And the formula is incredible. I love the way this feels. It literally feels like I'm not wearing anything on my lips. Like I forget that I have lipstick on and it does really wear very nice throughout the day as well. Next product is actually a hair product, which is weird for me to talk about because I'm normally one of those people that's definitely more focused on my makeup and I don't really care about what goes on here. <laughs> um, but this is the Way Rose Hair and Body Oil. And I was really intrigued by this because I've always used oils on my hair because I do have naturally curly hair and I straighten it. So I'll use oil just like on the ends when you know I blow dry it just to make it more sleek and just kind of keep it frizz free. And um, 
I've always just got random oils. Like I haven't really ever been picky about it or anything, but um, usually got it from the drugstore, which is fine. You can get it from the drugstore, but this was just like, it just looks so pretty. <laughs> I know that sounds stupid, but it looked really pretty and I'm very attracted to anything rose scented. I love the smell of roses. And I loved that you could actually use this on your body too, which I do. So in the morning or whenever I blow dry my hair, I'll rub it in my hands, rub it through my hair first, and then I'll just kind of put the rest on my hands and just kind of all over. And it's just, it's just really luxurious feeling. I just really like this and it is expensive. It was $32. That seems to be a popular price tag in this video. Um, it is $32, but obviously this is going to last you a really long time. You get three ounces in this, which is a lot for a hair oil. Like I'll probably have this because you only need literally like half a squirt. I'll probably have this for like a year. So you gotta look at it like that. And I did get that on Sephora.com as well. Moving on, I have a liner from Tarte. This is the Tartist Pro Liner in the shade Rose Gold. I have been wearing this nonstop the past couple of days and you have two sides. It's such a pretty color. So that is kind of like the regular liner side and then you have a glitter, which is optional when you're doing your makeup and you can place it right on top or you can place it like in your inner corner and you could just do a lot with glitter like that. But it's such a pretty eyeliner. I What I've been doing is just doing a regular wing like I have right now, but with this. And then I'll just put on some mascara, bronzer, or obviously foundation. Okay, this list could go on for a while. Let's face it, I had on a full face, <laughs> but then this, this, and mascara, and I was done. And this has kind of been like my go-to summer look. So I really like this. They have a silver one too, which I wasn't that drawn to, but this is like really, really pretty for summer. So I thought I'd throw that in there. You guys have made it till the end of this freaking video. I feel like I talked way too much and I need to go, I just need to go. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and if you liked this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.